I haven't driven my own car in such a long time that honestly it feels even weird to be in this car really really hope the angle is not astronomically wrong right there I have not vlogged in my own car for the longest time I don't even remember when I was putting my camera when I was driving in my car so I'm sorry in advance if the angle is completely off hi everyone it is Friday actually not Friday it is Thursday and I had one of the busiest days ever trying to finish up work things before our trip on Saturday which I'm like very very excited so basically this vlog will be a little bit of a haul of everything I bought for this trip and just like for spring and summer because not everything that I bought I'm taking with me on this vacation um, so basically what's new in my closet and probably it will be a pretty long one so grab yourself a coffee tea wine popcorn whatever your heart pleases I am headed to my laser appointment um, I know I should have not done this two days before my um, tropical vacation it's not good for your skin but unfortunately they didn't have any earlier appointment for me um, and I want to for sure go to my like touch-up appointment before I leave for a tropical vacation that I will be in bathing suit um, I don't want to shave while I'm there basically so and I don't want to worry about that so the laser appointment is very important and after my laser appointment we're gonna go get my nails done and then I'm gonna go back home finish up work I have decided to do like a few blog posts related to traveling um, surprisingly I don't know how come I don't have that many travel uh, blog posts but I feel so weird traveling after two years, especially with the circumstances of the world right now. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit like anxious. I have to stop by dry cleaning because I have like a few items that I gave to dry cleaning. I need to pick them up. And then I need to still try on my bathing suits. I bought tons of bathing suits from Shane, Shane, whatever the brand is. Um, and I'm regretting it to be honest with you when I show you guys the bathing suit I'll talk about it and let you guys know why I regret it um, There are very few of them that I actually really like most of them were just like We'll go into detail when I'm showing you guys the items but um, Yeah, I still have to try on my bathing suits and see which ones I'm keeping which ones I'm taking I still have to plan out my outfit. I have a rough idea of what I'm gonna wear, especially for my dinner outfit. I think I'm set, but like during the day, casual ones, I still have to go through my like items and stuff and put aside uh, what I'm taking with me. Um, yeah, we have a very, very busy day ahead of us. Um, so this is what I was saying. I'm sorry, I'm like jumping from topic to another topic. I decided to write a bunch of blog posts, so I'm trying to finish up all of those. Um, before we go um, so I can have them up but um, probably I'm gonna have just a little bit left to do over there which is totally fine but yeah without me rambling on even more than I've been rambling on this intro was probably like five minutes uh, I'm gonna see you guys after my uh, laser appointment whoever did this color thing to me I would need that person to undo it because I'm out of control um, this is my nails. I never thought I will be this person, but apparently I am. It has been a few hours ever since I saw you guys last. Um, so I went to my laser appointment, I went to dry cleaners, I got my nails done obviously, and like this color, I mean, not color, let me make a correction. These colors are giving me anxiety, but 
once a year when I'm doing a tropical vacation, I do colorful thing and I'll be fine. <laughs> My throat is so dry. So what else did I do? I went to the post office. It has been a day. It has been a day. And now I am going to go to Ireland because I'm craving burger, fries, and margaritas. So we're going to go to Ireland and have the best food ever. I was planning on going home and packing today, but I won't be able to. By the way, before I forget, um, I was very worried if I take the Gelex out, how my natural na nails are underneath. They're totally fine. Sorry, it's really hot. I'm gonna. It's one of the hottest days ever. It says 93, but I don't believe it's 93. It's more like 103. But um, yeah, what I was saying was that um, when I took the gel X out, my nails underneath were completely fine. Like literally nothing happened to them. I've heard from so many of my friends that their nails are like paper thin. Mine was not like that. So like knock on wood. So I put gel X again, but next time, I'm not sure if you guys can see, I don't think you can, but like my nails are growing already. So next time that I come, I don't need to put this gel X thing. I can do the design on my natural nail. I'm gonna go because I'm really, really hungry and I'm looking forward to burgers, fries, and margaritas. <laughs> Is a winding road. Another day, another bronze me because I, for some reason, forgot how to apply bronzer. I think it's the fact that I don't have self tanner on my body, that's why the bronze tones look a little bit excessive. Um, but let's just ignore that. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, um, it is very early in the morning, and it is a very gloomy day. I don't know what's happening with our weather. Yesterday we were having thunderstorm. Today we have like the cloudiest day ever. And I just checked the weather in Cancun. It's going to be cloudy over there too. So not happy with the weather. Slept really late last night. We had one too many margaritas and then we came over to our house and had a couple of more. So it was a party mode. I don't know why we did that to ourselves. And I didn't have enough water yesterday. So I had the worst headache at night and I woke up with the worst headache. So I'm trying to drink as much as water as I can. Um, usually that's what I do before traveling, like a week before traveling. I like double dose in drinking water because one, it's detoxifying and two, it's super hydrating. And while I'm traveling, like I don't drink enough water, I feel like. So I don't know, I feel like I'm making up for it and my skin breaks out when I'm traveling so I feel like if I'm, when I'm hydrated it prevents the breaking out. Long story short, I drink tons of water before traveling. I even um, sometimes add liquid IV to like intensify the hydration. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, today's mission is to drink as much as water as I can. It is very annoying that I have to use the restroom every five minutes but I feel like the effect of it on my body is really good. I just finished up my coffee. I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm really, really hungry. I feel like making omelette. Uh, I have been eating eggs literally every single day for the past like two to three weeks. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. They say it is because that's like the highest form of protein that I personally get. I don't eat that much meat. I try to, but it's very difficult for me to eat meat. So that's another thing I try to do before traveling is make sure I eat good because when I eat good, I feel good. I'm gonna go make myself an omelet, eat that, and then we will get into everything uh, that I got recently. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. I'm actually not trying on any of the items for you guys, 
most of these items you guys will probably see me wearing um, during vacation if not then you guys will see me when I get back on my Instagram and stuff but today unfortunately I do not have time to try them on um, there are items here that I'm not taking with me on vacation like blazers and stuff like items that I got from Zara items that I got from H&M that are not like vacation-y but I'm still gonna show it to you guys because I want to put them in my closet and when I put them in my closet I forget to show them to you guys unless I'm styling the item um, but we have items from Pretty Little, Pretty Little Thing which I haven't shopped from them in a very very long time but I needed some like bathing suit cover-ups I got from them and then I have H&M I have Shane I have a couple of Amazon items I'm looking all around me I have ASOS items sorry the lighting keeps changing because the sun goes in and out every five seconds but let's get into the haul I'm gonna first show you guys the swimsuit I'm not gonna try them on for you guys but I'll let you guys know what I think of them. Overall, I regret buying it to be honest with you from them because the quality is horrendous. I understand that swimming suit is like, you can wear it once or twice and like get rid of it, but I'm not that kind of a person. I like to invest in quality pieces, especially if it's a design that I actually like. Um, I think with swimsuit, the quality matters on how it sits on you and none of these look flattering to be honest with you there's maybe a couple of them that they look okay but most of them don't look flattering at all um i went with a size large with most of them or extra large um in the description box below i'll mention what size i went in um but yeah let's get into the haul the first one is this one um if the item is available which i think they're available i think most of these items i saw them last year as well uh, i'm gonna insert the picture of the model wearing it for you guys so you just have an idea of how it looks uh, but here's the first one it's this like cheetah print white and nude the nude got me it comes with this very cute belt this is actually one of the swimsuits that it sits flattering it's a little bit small on the chest area but you know it's mexico it's fine for it to be a little bit more revealing uh, but yeah this is the first item the v of it is a little bit high they're higher than normal but it's not like too high um like this area of it so this is the first one there's tons of colors in this like who am i orange like i fell in love with this like chain detail of it uh, i would say the one annoying thing about this chain detail is that it's not adjustable and it's like super tight on me but still i really really like it it has like this gap this is not flattering at all the v of it is pretty high you can't return bathing suit so i'm just gonna make it work somehow um at least if i'm wearing like a bathing suit cover up because i'm personally not comfortable wearing it like that it's just it's not that it's the v is high it's not flattering it's the fact that it is so cheaply made that it doesn't sit right um, but yeah I got it in this color because I just really really like the design of it and I got it actually in uh, black as well because I didn't know which one to go by I was gonna get the white one too but I didn't sorry I tried it on so here is the black one very 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 cute and another thing I've noticed with Shein I hope I'm saying that name correctly um, swimsuit is that the torso of them is not too long and i don't have the longest torso like do you see how like short it is i don't know maybe it's on my body like that it's like the orange one it's not the most flattering one uh but i fell in love with the top um design of it so and obviously i can't return it uh, but i'm gonna take it with me and then this is one of the bathing suits that is actually very flattering and it's actually really well made um and i think this is a bigger size or it is extra large yeah it is extra large um it's very very cute it's like this burnt orange it has like cutouts on the side and like um, underneath the boob it has the cutout as well but it sits really nicely the v of it is not too high up it's just one of the most comfortable i would say bathing suits um, and the padding on this is a lot better than the other ones i feel like the padding is a little bit thicker um, so overall this is one of my actually like you know comfortable trusty bathing suits between all of these and then we have this one then again just like the orange one it's actually really well made um it's like this pinkish color 
more like a coral one it comes with this belt i'm a huge fan of belt with swimsuits i feel like it's very flattering you guys know how much i love belts like cinching in the waist i feel like it gives my body um shape um the v of this one is not as high either so if you care about that um yeah it's not that high and this comes with only one strap that goes like around your neck um but to be honest with you the um elastic around this area is like pretty sturdy so if you were thinking of going without any straps you can do that as well or the way that i did it was i did it like one shoulder you know how um like it's very much i've seen i've been seeing it on zara a lot the dresses that the strap comes from here and goes from the back like crisscross um that's what i did with this one and i think it looked very chic as well and i also took out the belt and um put my chanel belt with it that looks very cute too i did that with the black um chain swimsuit as well it's just the chain look with my chanel uh, belt gave a very cute look the next one is this one that so many people fell in love with it i showed it on my instagram story it's this black velvet um what do you call it um i don't know it's, it, it was bathing suit but you can wear it as a bodysuit as well which probably that's what i'm gonna wear it as maybe i'm not sure but again this has like this chain detail um the strap is um what do you call it adjustable on this one it comes with a belt the belt is actually cute it's like this vintage looking belt um i tried this on with my chanel belt as well and it's look very cute um i just like changing things up with accessory and making them look a little bit more luxury um the cup size on this is very very small so i would say size up in it i don't have time if not i would have um, got a bigger size but it takes forever for them to ship and honestly the fact that i can't even return them is a little bit of a bummer um but yeah this one is very cute uh by the way the v of this one is pretty high as well just keep that in mind if that's important then we have this one which is another favorite of mine because it just gives me a Dolce Gabbana vibe the only complaint I have about this is the fact that the straps doesn't stay on it um, I'm sure they're somewhere there they are like here they are they don't stay on it for an odd reason but it gives me very much of a Dolce Gabbana vibe like how adorable is this the only thing missing is like a belt but I'm sure in my wardrobe I can find a belt to pair with it like a nude thin belt or like brown or even yellow will look good but i don't have any yellow bags uh, yellow not bags belt but anyway this is one of my absolute favorite ones too the v of this one is not too high but again the issue that i have with this is besides the strap is that like look how short it is like i don't know whose torso is that small for a size extra large like I don't know that's what i'm saying the sizing of them is not very on point and the cup size on this one is again small um so i can't wear them without the strap because it will flip basically and we don't want that um uh, but with the stra straps it looks very very cute one of my absolute favorite fans from shane i can't believe i found this there like how chic does this look it has this mesh detail i'm not sure if you guys can see it it's super super cute the only thing i don't like is the fact that this ring is silver and it's not gold but regardless i absolutely love it the v of it is not too high this actually sits really really well and obviously because it's black um you don't need it to be the best quality um because you can get away with it it's not see through um i really really like it like this is super chic and i feel like with the belt it will look very cute i was able to find this one actually on asos which is a combination of orange and pink absolutely love it it's like a crisscross on the neck uh, i think this is from river island no it's asos own brand i really really like this um the v of it again is a little bit high but honestly it's not too high and um i just love 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 the fit of this and the color combo is fantastic for this trip um my, this trip is like the color for me is out and i literally don't know how to control her surprisingly i only have one white bathing suit like i can't believe that i don't know how you guys will believe me but this is the only white bathing suit that i have i bought a couple more but unfortunately none of them were flattering sorry i tried it on and then put it in the bag so this is how it looks from the front and then this goes a crisscross on your neck and the back is super cute it has this tie and it has this like 
obviously holding it up is not doing it justice so i'm just gonna insert the picture of the model wearing it so this is from ivory rose but i got it off of um what do you call it um asos this is in a size 36 double d yeah they are a double d but i'm not a double d so <laughs> Probably it runs small and I got it off of sale as well. Now moving on to the pretty little thing items. Um, I categorized them so I'm really hoping that I will be able to show you guys everything. Um, so I got this like skirt cover up in blue. Um, I don't have anything that I can wear with blue. Maybe I can wear this with my white one. I'm not sure. But it has like this pretty long straps that goes around your waist it just looked very flattering it's like a little blue skirt uh, absolutely loved it i got this in a size uk 18 so probably that's us 14 so i got this and then this is another cover-up that i got it's basically again a skirt it has this knot up in the front and it's like pretty open it has a high slit and goes pretty like angled on this side i really really like this and i thought because it's white it will go with most of my like colorful or like the white um what do you call it um bathing suit so i got it in white i was looking for one that was um more of a nudish color but i was not able to find um then i got these two that i honestly don't think i'm gonna take with me and i regret keeping them because they're very heavy i know these knitted cover-ups are like very much in right now but i feel like i'm not gonna be able to wear it because i think it's gonna be really hot there i got it in two color i'm gonna show you guys in white it's basically a um super like slouchy like dread the back is pretty open and it has these super high slates on the side it's pretty much maxi and it's like a strappy dress it's very 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 cute but i feel like i'm not gonna wear them in mexico because it seems like that it's gonna be really hot and they're a little bit heavy they are not like light knit they're like very heavy knit um i got one from asos like last year uh, and i actually was it last year or actually two years ago and when we went to palm spring i unfortunately forgot to grab it when we were leaving so i left it there that was such a good quality it was still knitted but it was very lightly knitted it was not heavy like this and i got it in this color as well it's super super cute um but yeah i don't know if i will wear them there because they're super comfortable like i can wear them in the room when the ac is on blast maybe but yeah not sure about those i like them i like the idea of them but i actually don't like this specific product the next item is apparently a very tiktok famous set which i had no idea i bought it and when i was trying it on uh, my friends and my sisters were here while i was trying on all of these clothes and stuff and then they were like oh my god you got the tiktok famous um set i was like what is the tiktok famous scent and now that we talked about it the fbi on my phone is showing me this non-stop i see this all over which is this beautiful orange corset looking top with its matching skirt it's very very cute and i thought this would be a very cute outfit for dinner one night and um, here is the skirt of it there we go it's like it has like tons of ruching on the side it looks very very flattering i think i got this in a us 12 is the top and the skirt is a us 12 as well um, they look very very cute i literally knew i must have more items from asos but i don't know where they were because if you look at behind the camera it's like literally all the items that i'm planning on taking with me all the items that i bought recently blazer shoes it's just a chaos happening here so here is one of them which is a lime color skirt with its matching um top and i thought this would be another cute outfit for dinner 
I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this green. I like more of a darker green, but you know, it's Mexico. It's gonna be cute. It's like tropical. Um, I got this skirt in a size 12 and the top is I think a size 14. Yes, um, I actually ordered the top in a size 12 as well, but it was small. So I returned it and I got it in a bigger size. Um, the sleeves of it are not very like um, stretchy. The, it has like this tie on top and it would look pretty restricting, but I absolutely love 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 this set just keep this in mind that the skirt is not double lined so it's a little bit see-through so probably you have to wear something underneath uh, because as you guys can see i'm not sure if the camera picks up on it but it is pretty see-through the top is like double lined or maybe even triple lined but the skirt is not just keep that in mind um and it's super like lightweight material i think it's linen but i'm not 100 percent sure but it's super lightweight material and then the next item that I got from ASOS is this sparkly swimsuit cover-up that I don't know if I would wear it or not because it is very much out there. Uh, let's see. Is it this way? Yeah. So it's like this wee neck. They didn't have any sizes, so I was not sure if it's going to fit me. And to be honest with you, it fits very tightly. Um, so it's like this v-neck dress and it has a very big like um, slit on the side um, this was pretty expensive i would say like for a fishnet cover-up i think this was like hundred dollar or something and um i'm not hundred percent sure hundred percent sure if it's worth it because it's something very simple but i just wanted something sparkly because i don't have anything sparkly in my either nighttime um, outfit or like my bathing suits i just wanted something sparkly so i went with this um it fits me very very tightly so if you're a size 12 14 probably this will fit you but very tightly but if you are smaller than that it might look better on you but regardless i'm gonna take this with me and i'll see if i'll find an occasion to wear it then this is the last item i think i got from asos which is this bright yellow skirt i was like i need this in my life this is from river island this is a u.s it says UK 16, so that's US 12. I absolutely fell in love with the color of this. It has like most of my skirts in this tree, they all have something on their side and they had a they have a slit on the side. And this one is just like that. It is very, very cute. It's this like bright, like satiny yellow. I thought with white it would look very cute. Uh, I don't know if I will take this on vacation with me. I still have to decide on uh, my nighttime like dinner outfits. I'm just gonna take like literally five outfits because we're there for five nights and i'm not gonna take more i'm an overpacker we don't want that um so uh, what i do to avoid overpacking is i actually plan out all my outfits if not i'm gonna end up taking like three luggages then i have a few items from h&m that i'm gonna go through them really quickly because i feel like this video is going to be very very long um i got this jesus <laughs> got this uh, very cute green top that probably i'll wear to the airport with my white um what do you call it um white sweatpants um then i got this crop top which is this orange crop top it's super super cute and then got this green satin skirt which probably i'm gonna take this with me because i want to wear a skirt at one of the nights like a mini skirt it's like a mini green skirt it looks very very cute on i really really like it very like it has like this a-line design to it so it looks very flattering and then i got this pair of shorts because i couldn't help it it was so colorful and pretty it has a thick elastic band and like super comfortable i thought this with this orange top would look very cute this had a matching top um with it uh but unfortunately they didn't have it in my size so i just ended up buying this and i feel like if it's a matching top it would be too busy so i actually like wearing it either with white with like this will work with tons of color with green white yellow but i personally liked it with this like orange top and then I bought these shorts. Why are all of these so wrinkly? Um, this is like this green, more of a smart um, pants. And they are not too short. They actually hit right above the knee. They look very, very cute on. 
Um, these are more of like a smart, um, I would say, uh, pants, so I'm not going to take this with me. I saw a style on Pinterest that I loved. Um, the girl was wearing like a linen white shirt and she had it all open and she was wearing like a smart pants like this. So that's why when I saw this in the store, I was like, okay, I need to get it to recreate that look. And then we have these shorts because again, I couldn't help it. The pattern of it was so cute. This is honestly a little bit tight on it because it's in a size medium. They didn't have the large, uh, but I absolutely love, love, love this. It's super cute. Um, they were they matched this with the blue tank top but unfortunately the tank top they didn't have it in my size but i think it will look very cute with white as well or even uh maybe nude too like a nude zara bodysuit this will look cute too i'm not the visor kind of girl but when i saw it it gave me like a vacation vibe and i thought like I don't know how I feel about them. I got them like this one is obviously in this like straw material. It has like a bow on the back and this one is like more of a sporty one. Probably I'm gonna only keep this one. I just saw it in the store while I was shaking it and I thought I'll grab them. If I don't grab them, I might regret them. So I got both of these, but probably I'm gonna only take this one and not this one because this is a little bit too sporty for my liking. And then I found the blazer of my dreams. This is a white linen blazer and it is super long, which was exactly what I was looking for. I got it in a size medium. I tried on that. I wanted it to be oversized, so I bought the extra large first, but it was way too like big. It just didn't look nice. And then I tried on the large. Again, it was not looking the best, so I went with the medium. It is like pretty long blazer, but I absolutely love, love, love it. Again, this is not a vacation vibe, but I just thought I'll show it to you guys. So that is everything that I got from H&M. Now I have a three blazer to show you guys from Zara. Again, these are not trip related, but I just wanted to show them to you guys. Um, so I can like put them in my closet because it's a chaotic mess in here. Um, the first one is this crop white blazer that I just absolutely love everything about it besides its button. I'm going to change the buttons. They're not my favorite. Probably I'm going to add gold buttons instead. I got this in a size extra large and it was $70. It fits fantastic and I'm not a blazer person but I've been seeing so many cute like blazer styles. If you guys have been watching me, you guys know I don't ever wear blazer. I wear like crop coats, like denim coats, but not blazer. But for some odd reason, I'm into blazers recently. I feel like they're super chic. Um, so I got that and I wanted to make sure it is cropped because I remember a few years ago, I read somewhere that when you are like short or you have short legs, um, crop um, items, um, same thing with belt, make makes you look taller so that's a rule that i go by basically <laughs> this is the next coat but i'm going to return this because i found the um coat from h&m that i like so much more i feel like this is a little bit too more too structured for my liking but it is this white super long coat um this is not my style it's a little bit too officey this was $90 and I got it in XXL. It fits beautifully, but I prefer my white one from H&M so much more, the linen -y one. Um, I feel like, yeah, I don't think I'll get the wear out of this one as much. So this will be a return. This is my absolute favorite, favorite blazer from um, Zara that I purchased. Um, it is this like pink, um, what are these uh, fabrics called? Tweed? tweed if i'm saying that correctly it has gold buttons very much gave me balmain vibe and i absolutely fell in love with it this is in a size xxl and it was pretty pricey it was 150 dollars but i love it um i went for a super long one because the style that i have in mind with the long blazers is like wearing them with like shorts or like short skirts and wearing this on top i see julia styling them like that and it looks super flattering on her so like let me just give it a try um if not i would go for the crop ones but the way that i would probably style the long blazers is wearing them with something short underneath so like basically this would be the longer piece um you guys will see the styling over on my instagram so make sure you follow me there a couple of shoes to show you guys i got this from nordstrom and i shared them on my instagram stories but i'm gonna share them here too in case you don't watch um you're not you're not following my instagram um but i got this 
Fashion and Mishka shoes because they gave me so much of Manolo Blahnik vibes. I absolutely fell in love with the color of them. They look so, so, so cute, but unfortunately they're not comfortable. My Manolo Blahnik ones are super comfortable, but unfortunately these were not as comfortable as I would hope for them. But I'm still going to keep them because I love, love, love the color of them. Um, it's just... I know I won't be able to wear them for a super long period of time because, as I said, they're not the most comfortable shoes. Uh, but I just fell in love with the color of them. So I am going to make the wrong decision of keeping them, basically. <laughs> because I know I won't be able to wear them a lot. And by the way, I got this in a size. What size did I get? Uh, nine. So I went half a size off. That's what I do usually with the closed toe shoes. Um, and then the next item that I got are these Stig Madden pink strappy heels that I am obsessed with them. Literally obsessed with them. How beautiful are these? Like I love the Barbie pink of it. It has a very cute heel. Just love everything about it like it's super super cute i actually bought a pink bag as well which again if you follow me on instagram probably you already saw i'm not gonna include the bags in this video if i want to include the bags that i bought recently because we all know i have a sickness with online shopping which is getting out of control a little bit uh, but um yeah if i want to include all the bags that i got from zara and nordstrom we would be here until like the eternity basically i got these two cover-ups from amazon i just wanted to show you guys they're like scarf cover-ups um like super big scarf cover-ups and i got this one in this like more of a sheer texture compared to this sheer texture sheer fabric and it has all this like obviously jeweled colors purples oranges blues and stuff again whoever who did this um color thing to me i need it to be undone because i'm out of control and i got this one which is a little bit thick of thicker material compared to the other one and it's, again it's like a super big oh, it's this way it's like a super big scarf that you can like tie it around your uh, waist on bathing suits and stuff. Um, the unflattering um, bathing suit that I just showed you guys a little bit earlier, I'm planning on hiding the unflatteringness of it, if that's a word, with this scarves and like basically bathing suit cover-ups. Um, I was not able to find cute bathing suit cover-ups, which I'm very much annoyed about it. Like, I had high hopes. I see people wearing super cute, like... Um, bathing suit cover-ups but either they're sold out or they don't have my size so i'm not very happy with my swim items and swim suit cover-ups but i know i have items that i can make it work but like i'm not very very happy with them i think hopefully these are everything that i got now i am going to clean up all this mess i basically um decide my day outfits night outfits so i don't overpack for example i'm like we're there for five nights so like uh, i'm taking five dinner outfits and i try them at home make sure they fit and then like i even accessorize them pair them with shoes bags whatever it is and then i take a picture of them so when i'm there and i had one too many margaritas i don't have to think about what am i gonna wear i can just go to my phone look at this styled outfit and just go for it um like this not only i save time on like deciding what to wear i actually don't overpack uh, i do that with night dresses day dresses uh, day dresses and swimsuits basically i'm wear them and like match them together take a picture of them and then i pack it away so i don't overpack and i actually know what am i wearing there what am i wearing there because there's nothing worse than not knowing what to wear and you have like luggage full of stuff and you don't know what to do with those items like i don't have time to waste on vacation you know the sun the sea margaritas are waiting for me and i would rather do that than just spend time on deciding what to wear so yeah i'm gonna go cl clean up all of this put the items that i'm not taking in my closet try on the items decide on what am i wearing i'm not gonna show you guys the items like styling and stuff because you got you guys will see that on my instagram